You read the title. Today, I'm gonna show you what I think is the fastest way to air dribble that if you follow, will take you less than six minutes to learn. I've broken this down into three simple steps. Plus, I'll be showing the three most common mistakes I see new players make when trying to learn. So I guarantee, even if you're completely fresh watching this, you'll have everything you need to pull off your first air dribble by the end of the video. By the way, if you're new here, my name's Luke, and I know this works because I'm a coach with over 4,000 hours myself, and I actually run Rocket League's number one live coaching program where we've coached over 2,000 players called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside, we specialize in taking gold through champ rank players like you watching up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. If you didn't catch it, we overflowed on enrollment last season, so when this video drops, we're going to be restocking just just 100 spots for upcoming spring launch. So if you're on the hunt for GC and you want in on one of those first 100 spots before we sell out and go on pause until May, DM me on Discord with the keyword in and we can talk details about how to get you in in time. I'll have my Discord first link down below and let's go over the fastest way to air dribble. Okay, so jumping straight into the steps, we're going to be handling everything in free play. That way you can set up the air dribble from start to finish. We'll be covering three steps. Number one, setup. Two, adjustment. And finally, three, the carry. All right, so first things first, when you land in free play, you're going to want to use the up command on your D-pad to spawn the ball on your car and get it rolling over to the wall. There are three keys to an effective setup. Number one, you may have noticed there's these hexagons sketched into the wall. We want to make our first touch off the wall about halfway up the first one. Reason being is because if we hit the ball too low, we'll have to use extra jumps to try to correct. Or if we hit the ball too high, we risk driving it into the ceiling when we try the setup. Key number two, you want to keep about one car length of space between the ball and your car before you hit it. The mistake a lot of new players will make when they're driving the ball over to the wall is they'll be glued to it and they won't separate before they get their first touch off the wall. Instead, before the ball reaches the wall, we want to slow down to allow about one car length of space between us and the ball. This is going to make it so that our first touch puts the ball on track with the center of the net and we have to do the least correct possible. Finally, for step three of the setup, we want to jump exactly when we hit the ball. If you jump before you hit the ball, you risk just jamming it into the wall and not getting any separation. And if you jump after you hit the ball, you can catch up to it, but it's going to be harder and you risk running out of time. So to recap, for an effective setup, you want to spawn the ball on your car, drive it to midfield, allow about one car length of space, and aim to jump and connect with the ball at the exact same time that it crosses about half a hexagon up the wall. If you do this correctly, the ball should be online to fly directly at the center of your opponent's net if you didn't touch it. If the ball's flying too far across the field, it means you got too much under the ball on the setup. And if it flies too much into their corner, it means you got too far behind the ball on the setup. Practice the setup and nothing else until you can get the ball going into your opponent's net. Then we'll move on to step two, the adjustment. The second thing you need to master for the air dribble is this quick air roll adjustment that happens after you make your first touch. The reason being is because if you don't master this air roll adjustment and you just try to fly at the ball upside down, controlling your car like this is going to be very confusing. So if we're going off of the left wall, all you need to do for the air roll adjustment is simply hold neutral air roll and pull to the left and slightly down on your joystick to get your wheels facing down and your car in line with the ball. This is going to allow us to boost and follow through with the carry. Now, this point is actually where I see the second most common mistake for new air dribblers, and that's boosting through the adjustment. If you hold down boost this entire time while you're adjusting your car, you're going to overshoot the ball and you're going to get stuck pushing it down into the ground. Make sure after you jump boost and get that first touch into the air, you let go of boost while you're doing the adjustment. This is going to allow the ball to fly up and get above you so you can follow it up smoothly for step three. Step three, the carry. If you've made it to this point, the ball should be up in the air, flying towards the center of your opponent's net with your car facing dead onto the ball. At this point, the only last thing to do is make sure you stay under the ball and guide it forward while staying close. The key here and the final place that most players go wrong on the air dribble is boosting through the carry. You actually don't want to boost the entire length through your carry because if you do, you're going to push the ball away and make 
touches that are too heavy and lose control of the ball. Instead, as you guide the ball forward, you want to practice what's called feathering your boost. This is basically just quick tapping your boost rather than holding it all the way through. That way you can match the speed of the ball and guide it gently into the opponent's net. If you do this right, you'll be able to get five, six, or seven touches on the ball before you take it in. And that's going to allow you to beat defenders and have a more effective air dribble than say just a one or two touch aerial that's easier to read. Putting it all together, we're going to drive the ball to the wall, focus on timing our setup so that way we can get under it, make that quick air roll adjustment while letting go of boost, and then feather through to guide it on net. This is going to be the fastest way to get your first air dribble. Okay, my time's nearly up, so feel free to rewind, or if you have more questions, definitely DM myself or any of the coaches over in my free Discord server. We've got tons of people who are happy to help, so I'll have that first link down below. As always, though, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.